What's up, YouTube? So, about five months ago, I made a video called WeWork Stock is Done. Unfortunately, they have said that it is likely that they are going to be declaring bankruptcy probably next week. And I gotta say, I was really hoping that would not be the case. Like, when I made my video, WeWork Stock is Done, you know, I didn't want that to be the case at all. I was just looking at the actual company itself, looking at the stock, looking at how their, you know, revenue has, you know, not increased year over year, how their earnings have been doing, you know, the debt that they have, you know, what the company has going for it. And I just didn't see a good business there, which is why I made my video. And see, it's crazy because WeWork is such a famous story. Like the company that rose to a $47 billion valuation that, you know, absolutely dramatically crashed back down. And... You know, it's a sadly popular story, but it's also a really sad story at the same time. I think about that now when they're going, you know, bankrupt because, you know, Adam Newman, the guy that's largely responsible for the, you know, historical stock rise and fall, you know, he's still fine. Like, he's still, you know, multi-billionaire. SoftBank, the investment company that was funding WeWork, I mean, they lost an insane amount of money. But overall, you know, SoftBank itself is fine. You know, they're not going to suffer too much from this. But the actual, you know, people, the employees at the stock options, you know, those are the ones that are not going to be, you know, that are actually, I guess, suffering from this. And when I look at the story of WeWork, you know, the company that dramatically rose and fell, I always thought the best ending for the story would be and rose again. You know, like if the company could actually turn things around and, you know, get back to it, you know, actually start, you know, making some really good money and turn into an actual good business. I feel like that'd be the most amazing end to the story instead of them just, you know, crashing down completely and going out of business. But unfortunately, they are declaring bankruptcy probably next week. And it's not surprising at all, especially because, I mean, there's a lot of things the company could have done better, but also some of it is just that they had bad luck. You know, with them doing co-working spaces, COVID is kind of the worst thing that could happen to them because more people started working at home and a lot of people prefer work from home. And there's still, you know, even though a lot of companies are wanting people to go back to the office, still a huge amount of people that are protesting that they want to keep working from home. And, you know, co-working spaces just, you know, weren't as popular now or during that time especially now and their business you know from factors that were completely out of their control you know suffered from that and again a lot of things you know they did wrong you know the valuation it never made sense for this company to be worth 47 billion dollars like again you know there's a lot they did wrong but they also just got very unlucky at the same time because i actually liked their overall idea you know co-working space especially a couple years ago you know i thought that was or, you know, when they started, I thought that was pretty smart. But, yeah, I don't know. I just wanted to quickly share my thoughts. And, um, yeah, it's kind of sad, but it is what it is. Thank you for watching the video. Subscribe to the channel. Thanks.